All right, gentlemen, let's uh, move on to political party matters. It's still far from over for the Labour Party regarding the leadership crisis rocking it. The party's embattled national chairman, Junior Sabure, is facing another axe. Sabure has been suspended from the party in Ward 3 in Edo State. The suspension, which was ratified by the state's executive committee of the party, was based on accusations bordering on alleged high-handedness and anti-party activities. The committee also advised Abure to desist from parading himself as a member of the party. Let's share an update on the story with you and we'll come back to discuss it. Please take notice that you have been suspended from the membership of War 3, Awe, Urumi, Salmon East, local from Edo State. Uh, this decision was reached after a rigorous deliberation by members of the ward in consideration of your high handedness and anti party activities in the administration of the party and other millions of allegations of fraud leveled against you, which are currently under investigation. While the suspension is with immediate effect, you are advised to restrain from holding out or hiding yourself as a member of the Party War 3. Abure realized the crisis situation for his own pecuniary interest, not in the interest of the party. Apart from having over 50 criminal cases all over the states in Nigeria, he was even recently released from detention in 90 ago. And we have it in good authority too, that within two weeks, he had been arrested and detained for various acts of fraudulent acts that borders on money and conversion. Gentlemen, there you have it. Uh, but the National Working Committee of the party says uh, Edo State Chapter has no low cost standing to suspend that okay, you, want to go first? you know, the, uh, this is not the first time that they will suspend him. And um, what the national leadership has always said is that none of the state chapters, none of the wards can um, ask the national chairman of the party that is only the neck of the party that can take such a decision. But, you know, if it keeps coming, and it keeps coming, and you are saying that there's no problem, then something is wrong with you. Mm -hmm. It keeps coming. It is for a reason that it keeps coming. This is a man who has struggle to hold on to that position since the 2023 general election. They've been fighting him. And I think the battle ahead is even bigger than what he faces now because obedience are desperate to take that party from him and he constitutes uh, the majority. That is, Peter will be supporters, they constitute the majority. Peter will be said at an event that if they do not want us to uh, change, the party, change the party, we will leave they the will party leave. for them. But he has not behaved like somebody who wants to leave the party. He actually said he's no longer leaving. <laughs> he, he, he knows how to throw those sound bites <laughs> okay. uh, without a desire to implement any. Uh, so when he said that, I said, what's going on? Which party will he join? If, will he form his own party? Go or go back to PDP? Or will he go back to PDP? Will he go back to PDP if there is no guarantee that they will give him the um, presidential ticket. ticket? With Atiku, a perennial contestant, still very much in PDP. Anyone who thinks that they will simply give it to uh, uh, the tickets to um, is in Dreamland. Atiku is there. Pankwaso, I mean, uh, uh, Tambua Tambo. is there. Mm. There are um, the elements loyal to Eastern Wiki that are still very much in PDP. Eastern Wiki has not shown any desire to leave the party. It's um, 
behaving like somebody on loan to, <laughs> to, to where footballers, you know, footballers get loaned to clubs. When you are when you are <laughs> surplus to the family, they will loan you out to other clubs. There you can gain experience. Experience. From uh, a much uh, better player. People like even um, uh, Beckham. Beckham uh, was at some point on loan before he came back to Manchester United. He had become more mature as a result of playing many games in the, low, in the smaller club. So I think that the ownership crisis in the Labour Party we see people like Ajero telling the whole world that uh, the party belongs to the Labour Party. Mm -hmm. I think NLC. that crisis, because there is a political wing of the NLC that Ajero leads. They are now saying, oh, it's because Ajero wants to contest for governor of Imo State. He's using the um, NLC against the Abure led uh, NWC. Abure and his secretary actually petitioned the SGF, petitioned the Minister of Labor, petitioned other agencies, accusing Nigeria of using the funds of NLC to wage a war against Abure. You see, when you take some of those steps, it has become an all-out war. The person that you have written a petition against, accusing him of all kinds of crimes, there is no way he will forgive you easily. Mm -hmm. That battle will continue to wage that battle until he sees your end. Mm -hmm. So they want to take that party away from Abure. All of the accusations that he stole money, is, uh, you know, those accusations won't go away. But do you think he should honorably resign? I suggested that in the past that if I were in his. Uh, I will simply, yeah. You've led the party to a major election, very good um, outing, a major election, mm -hmm. the level that the party had never reached in its history. It's better to bow out when the ovation loudest. The other day, when they, uh, they had their neck and he marched as the candidate, Peter Obi was one of those who came out to say he told him to try and make the exercise inclusive by reaching out to other people. But he said he didn't reach out. But you know, that platform is still very useful to Peter Obi at this time. So he's not going to get out of it. There is no promise that somebody will make to him <laughs> that will make him leave Labour Party now. Because it makes no sense. He will want to see how far he can go, and he will want to work with his own supporters to see that the elements who su support him gain control of the party, party ahead of the next election so that big decisions can then be taken by uh, That is the way Peter Obi is thinking. So Abure will not have peace. After this, others will still come for him until they take that leadership of the party away from him. He is hanging on uh, by a threat to the leadership. But how much longer can he hang on? Mm. How much longer? If, if they are saying, look, they don't want you. Yoruba say that they don't want you. You are uh, in town. You are starting <laughs> the song. <It's> <laughs> Who will dance to the song? <laughs> Is so it? Abure's days, in my view, are numbered. And I agree <laughs> with those guys that a national chairman who has been arrested. Arrested and, and put has, in shame. Yeah, and exactly. Corruption does not have the moral authority to continue to lead the party. Mm. Mm. I, I agree. Asuko, even according to reports, uh, former president of the Nigeria Labour Congress, that's Abdul Wahid Omar, has been chosen by the political commission uh, of the NLC to head a transition committee mm. to revitalize the Labour Party. I mean, tasked with the uh, responsibility to organize a national convention within the next three months. Mm. So how do you think you this transition committee should? Well, um... I know there was a time they also had one convention and Aburi also emerged uh, chairman. Yeah, that one has been turned to me. <laughs> you know, they now said, is it? Is you know. so, that one was not even supervised. Or yeah, by Heineken. Uh, you Heineken know. So, so you can see that even um, Aburi himself, you know, is emerging so many controversies left, right and center. 
So this committee, I don't know how far they would go and what their recommendations would eventually be. You know, whether it will favor Aburi or, 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 or maybe there are some people who might be drumming and they, are, they want somebody to start dancing. You understand? So if the committee can come up with something that would, you know, make um, the Labour Party a bit stronger, because what we need is a viral opposition an opposition who would not consider themselves into nuisance, but at least give the APC some level of, you know, um, fight, just like they did the last time. Fine. You know, but for now, this committee will have to do his work. Aburi is the chairman now. But for this, his own word now, coming out to come and say they, want, they don't want him because of high... They've, they brought so many allegations against him. In fact, the last one that I felt pity for him was when he was arrested. You know, a national chairman being arrested and disgraced. They, they even removed his scalp. That is the first time I saw his bare head. I didn't know, you know, you know. So I was, I was like, a national chairman shouldn't go through all this. You know, for me, if I were in his shoes, I would have just resigned. Because whether you like, these issues will keep coming. They will keep coming because they, they are targeting something, and that is the structure of the party. Because they know the party has gotten to a point whereby when once they are naming political parties, they are in the top five. Mm. You understand? They are in the top five. I'm not saying top three now, but top five. Because you still have an MPP there. You still have um, a PDP there. So now you always talk about our Labour Party. You know? So those who want to you know, get the party they will always want to come. It happens in all political parties, though. It's not just the Labour Party. If a politician wants something, they will go all out to make sure that they get it. And so what is happening in APC, happening in PDP, is also happening in Labour. So forget about that. We are the beautiful, we are good. We are, they, 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 they are no saints in Labour Party. What is happening in other parties, also, that is what is happening in Labour Party. So they just want to grab the structure of the party remove Aburi, perhaps maybe they see him as not doing what they want, want him to do. So they want to move him out, put their person there, so that by the time it's 2027, they will form, they will know that, okay, fine, we can face either the PDP or the APC. Mm. But we, kill, we see how APC, quickly, we see how APC resources its internal uh, conflicts. We see how PDP also resources its internal conflicts. What do you think is wrong with the internal mechanisms of the Labour Party? Uh, I mean, three questions quickly so you can help me, I mean, uh, dissect them. Second, how do you think this transition committee should go? And also, uh, Omar says that, do you think there should be, Labour Party should review its constitution or amend it? Because according to the former president of NLC, all leaders rely on the 2009 constitution of the Labour Party as the authoritative and binding document. Yes, but uh, you cannot uh, amend the constitution without the National Convention. Mm -hmm. The National Convention is the most powerful organ of any political, any political party. party. And um, if there are things that you want to change, they, they, they are ratified by the National Convention. You know? And um, you can see how polarized the party is. The obedience are continually sidelining Aburi. They do not want Aburi. They want to take control of the party. Mm. And as long as uh, Peter Obi does not give wholehearted, wholehearted support to Aburi, his days are numbered. Mm. Because, and when you uh, link that also with the political wing of the NLC. They too want to take control of the party. You see, the kind of money that is in party politics makes the position of principal officers of parties so attractive, especially in an election year. The kind of money that those leaders make, they sell forms, mm -hmm. They are not accountable about how those funds are used. Even one of the two major political parties, 
some of the funds that they used to that uh, came from selling both the expression of interest uh, and nomination forms. Mm -hmm. One of the chairmen was said to have gone to start a school. <laughs> yes. And I'm like, what is going on? They can't account for it. APC could not account for these, uh, those funds. It's an issue that people like uh, Salu Lukman have been complaining about. The same thing with the PDP. That have not been able to find the money to even complete their secretariat. Yet to collect tons of cash from people who want to contest elections. So these party leaders sit on this money, steal some of the money. That makes those positions attractive to other people mm -hmm. because they know, ah, this next election, the people will come out and try to use the Labour Party platform. They won't be some of the small boys that came out the other day That's because they've seen now that the party has potential. It can rally the youth and all that. So some of the people that we didn't know, Okada riders who went on to win elections, mm -hmm. They are going to price them. They are going to price those Okada riders out of existence mm -hmm. because forms will become unaffordable. Mm -hmm. Nomination forms will become unaffordable for those little people. So more uh, big politicians will now see the Labour Party as a special purpose vehicle to attain power, no especially power. those of them who lose out. Exactly. In the primaries of uh, APC and APC PDP. Or PDP. So... It has, make it, it has made it extremely, um, it has made the leadership of the party extremely important for those who are looking for power to go for. That's all of those groups are springing up. They want a bure seat. You know, city fought uh, a papa, the courts saved him. And the, uh, once the appeal court took that decision, Papa withdrew. But as I said earlier, how much longer can he continue to survive? Because the way it is now, is on uh, in, in boxing they say uh, rubber legs. So when when the boxer is wobbling, <laughs> he cannot stand. Yes. He eventually count him out. The way he is now is on legs of rubber. And um, he's gasping. It's only a matter of time. They will take the party from him. He will right. have to give up that position, whether he likes it or not. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll wait and see how that.